I, I also want to mention around this time you're working with uh, another really great athlete and uh, a, a tough guy, baby face, Bam Bam Bigelow. Uh, you're working with him a lot here. He's a huge guy, a great look. Uh, eventually be his manager a few years later. But yeah. why don't you think things worked out for him during his first run in the WWE? <clears throat> I kind of I kind of feel hindsight. Um, you know, what? why it didn't work out the first time was a little bit because of his attitude. Mm. it's kind of like an attitude of like, you know, I deserve this and I should be this or I should be that. And, you know, uh, when he came back the second time, he was a lot more humble, if you will. Ah, uh, I see. In, uh, in a nutshell. A little That's bit too it. young maybe for the, uh, yeah. the the spotlight. I did also hear that maybe he had a few issues here and there with Andre. Well, that's just, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one guy you don't want to, you know, and, and here's the deal. Andre was a very good judge of character. And if Andre liked you, chances are you're a pretty good guy. Mm -hmm. And if Andre didn't like you, pretty good chance you're a scumbag. Good judge of character. And so... Uh, judging on that character, that's that's why things didn't go so well for for the big man. So Pro probably exactly what he needed for his career. Calm him down a yeah. little bit. Yeah. 